Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss open automation software as an MQTT broker. OAS can act as both an MQTT client and an MQTT broker. There is another video available on our website where I discuss OAS as an MQTT client. There is also a tutorial on our website, openautomationsoftware.com. Choose Knowledge Base, Data Destinations, MQTT Broker, Getting Started MQTT Broker. The MQTT protocol involves two players, a client and a broker. An MQTT broker is a server while the clients are the connected devices. When a device wants to send data to a broker, it is called a publish. When the operation is reversed, it is called a subscribe. The open automation software MQTT broker is built into the OAS engine, which can be deployed on both Windows and Linux operating systems. MQTT broker support was added to OAS version 15.00.0001 and does require a license of the MQTT driver to enable read and write functionality. The OPC UA MQTT broker supports reading and writing to all local and remote OAS tags, including Live Data Cloud. Let's look at how to interface an MQTT client with OAS as an MQTT broker. After installing open automation software, verify that you have a valid license for MQTT. To do this, open the Configure OAS application and go to Configure License. Select the instance of OAS you're using as an MQTT broker. I'm going to use an instance installed on a remote server at opcweb.com, so I will select it here in my network node dropdown. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and verify that MQTT is listed in the available drivers list. Next, go to the options and select the MQTT broker tab. Enter the ID you want to use for the OAS broker in the broker field. Choose the default broker port, 1883, or enter a new port into the broker port field. For SSL TLS, choose either the default broker SSL port 8883, or enter a new port into the broker SSL port field. If you want to use SSL TLS, check the box for Enable SSL. In the MQTT private key file, select Browse and select your private key file. If you have a password assigned to the private key, enter it into the private key password field. If you have security configured on the instance of OAS you are using as a broker, you will need to pass along the username and password of the user you want to use. You can do that here in the client username and client password fields. If you don't have security configured, you can leave these fields blank. Now that we have OAS set up as an MQTT broker, we can subscribe to any tag that we have in our configuration. I have an instance of another MQTT client running on my machine. It is a free one I downloaded for testing called MQTT Explorer. I'm going to set it up to subscribe to our OAS MQTT broker. I will just call the connection OAS. For host, I am entering www.opcweb.com because that is where the broker is running. You would enter the IP address or the domain name of wherever you have the OAS broker running. You could also use localhost to use a broker running on your own machine. Enter the port here. I don't need a username or password, so I will leave those blank. I will hit save. Then I'm going to the advanced tab to subscribe to a topic. To get the value of a tag from the OAS broker, I just enter the tag name dot value, for example, ramp dot value. All of the other properties of the tag are available as well. So I could enter ramp dot data type or ramp dot trend point. If a tag is in a group, I would preface it with the group name. For example, this active tag inside of the alarms group, I would enter alarms dot active dot value. So I will go back to my original here and enter ramp.value and click add. Now I will hit connect. We can see now that the ramp value is being received. 
The payload is in standard JSON format and includes the value, timestamp, and quality. Now let's look at writing to a tag using the OAS MQTT broker. I don't have write permissions on the opcweb.com instance of OAS, so I'm going to switch over to my local host for this. I already have a connection set up here for that, so I will say connect. Now let's look at the tags in the OAS configuration for local host. I will create a new tag and call it D. We can see that it currently has a data type of double float, the data source is value, and the value is set to zero. So now let's go over to the MQTT client again. I will expand the publish section, and for topic I will enter D.value. Then in the value box I will enter 5 and click publish. Now you can see that the value has changed in the configuration. Now let's look at sending a JSON message to the OAS MQTT broker from the MQTT client and using the OAS calculation data type to parse it. I'm going to just use this simple JSON string with the key value pairs of value 1 equals 12, value 2 equals 23, and value 3 equals 57. I'm going to publish this to the C tag on my local host. The C tag has a data type of string. Next, I will create a new tag and call it E. I will set its data type to double float and its data source to calculation. In the calculation, I will enter JSON query C value value 1. This will set the value of the E tag to the value 1 from our JSON string in the C tag. Now I will go back to the MQTT client and publish the string to the C tag. We can see that the E value is now 12, or the value 1 from our string. You can deploy the OAS engine to multiple servers on Windows or Linux using standard deployment or Docker containerized deployment. Each OAS MQTT broker supports communications to any OAS engine. For more information on open automation software, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.